Hello Floss Tube, Stacy here as always. And this is Floss Tube Season 2, 2019, Episode 9 for September. I have made a promise to myself mostly to make a Floss Tube video every month, and so I've kind of lagged behind this month. Just not feeling as motivated to do as much stitching this month but I do have a finish to show you at the end of this video and we will go from the start which will be usually haul and works in progress and then to the end where we will have finished pieces so this month I don't have a ton um, I do want to mention that an upcoming video, if you are interested in any crochet or knitting, uh, we will have a video on blankets or afghans that are crochet or knit with my mom uh, because she, whenever she retired last year, she had made a goal for herself to make a afghan or a blanket for each month in the first year. So she has 12 to show off and we will make a video to show all of those off. This one is one that I had started it's just a crochet ripple afghan that matches my rug in the living room and so I had started it and then I just got burnt out on it because I had started another project and she finished it up for me just recently. So we will have an upcoming video soon on the knitting or the crochet blankets. Uh, I don't have any haul for this month because I need to work on stuff I already have uh, in my stash. I've been working on multiple, multiple items and I have plenty of whips going all at once and I'm just trying to finish a few of those. So I didn't stitch anymore on the Hello Pumpkin stitch along this month. So this is the same that you saw on this project last month, but I did receive parts four and five. I just haven't stitched it quite yet, but I will show you what that is so you can see what the final result will look like. And here is that. <clears throat> So the part four is the part over here with the pumpkin and part five is the part right up here with the bird. I might change a couple of colors on some of the leaves over here in part four, but other than that, these two parts look pretty cute to me. I especially like the uh, porcupine or hedgehog. I'm assuming hedgehog maybe rather than porcupine, and I do really like the bird. So cute. Uh, maybe next month's floss tube in October, I will have finished this and be able to show you the finished project. Otherwise, most all of the stitching that I have done for this month is on <clears throat> Mill Hill Kit Wanda's Witchery. If you remember last year, I did the Wanda's Wands. Let me show you that one. I put it in this cute little shadow box that I got from Michaels. So that was the Wanda's Wands. And this is also a Mill Hill Buttons and Beads Autumn Series Kit. And I just finished up Wanda's Witchery, which is also Mill Hill Autumn Series Buttons and Beads. And here is that. I put it in a, the same shadow box, which because of the shadow and my, my light, there we go, maybe cover. Ugh, anyhow, there we go. Um, so you have your witch's hat over here, a little black cat, and I 
you probably know I am not a cat person, but I mean, it's a uh, witchery, so they have cats. Witches have cats. I have a little Yorkie dog, but um, the button is the star right up here, and this one had a ton of beads. A ton. Like, if I get really close in there, even some of the things that you wouldn't think are beads, like some of this light, light pink that's in the center of this container here, that's all beads. It's all beads around there. A lot of beading going on. I actually do enjoy the beading. I'm not a huge fan of back stitching and French knots. Um, I will obviously do the back stitching, but the beading, I am fine with that and I'll bead all day. I don't care. So there is that one. That is my finish for this month that I was telling you about. And I have one more kit that is from this same series. It's called I Drive a Stick, and it's a little bit more cartoony looking than both of these. But maybe next year I'll do that one as my Halloween project. Um, I do have the two mermaids and the witch from last year that I had entered into the North Carolina Mountain State Fair for judging. Let me go grab those so that I can show you. All right, so the witch that I had stitched for last year uh, Halloween, and I had also gotten a frame at Hobby Lobby for this one and just framed it myself. There is that one, and as you can see, I got third place in the graft, patterned, counted cross stitch category. And that is uh, called Halloween Magic, I do believe. And it is out of the 2016 Just Cross Stitch Halloween Edition uh, magazine. So it got third place. I did do a little, a few changes on this one as far as uh, colors of beads, as well as this border was supposed to be in all black and I just did it in the green metallic. So third place on that one. And then I had entered both of the uh, mermaids that I had framed from the last floss tube episode if you would like to see that you can see both of those and i'm sure that because they were a set they knew that it was from the same person that had done both of them so they just picked the one that they liked the best i guess and gave this one it's the one that they liked the best and they gave it a first place so you have a first place ribbon and a third place ribbon. If you would like to see this more in detail, you can see it on my past floss tube videos. But there is that, uh, uh, let's see here, Moonrise, Laguna Mermaid. Moonrise, no, that's not right. Moonlight Laguna Mermaid. Moonlight Laguna Mermaid. And the other one was called Sunrise Laguna Mermaid. That is by Nora Corbett, and it won first place. I did not do any changes on this, but I did uh, put it on like a very light turquoise fabric. So now I need to figure out where to put those mermaids up in my house. <laughs> I had told my mom that I was gonna put them in the bathroom. After all, they are mermaids. And she said that if I was gonna put them in the bathroom that she would come and steal them from my house and take them to her house because they don't deserve to go in the bathroom. <sighs> so, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Um, I guess that that is everything that I have for this month. I will be stitching probably on the Christmas tree skirt that I showed in the last video as well as the Hello Pumpkin stitch along and maybe one other for the next floss tube video but be sure to check me out on instagram also it is stacy noel cp on instagram and you can see all my projects and stuff that i'm working on as i'm doing them and whenever i finish one i'll post it on there a lot of times before i even make a video on it so this was a little quickie video for you and I hope that you enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I have all different kinds of crafty videos, not just cross stitch. And I will see you next month, Floss Tube. Thanks. Bye.